Okay, in this video I want to make our original code a little bit more efficient. When we ran this code, it, uh, it, it took 201 guesses in one case to guess a number from 1 to 100, which is clearly not good enough. Um, so we can improve those odds a little bit, we can make it a little bit more efficient with not a lot of extra effort uh, in terms of code. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have two variables, I'm going to call it high equals 100 and low equals 1. Now when the computer guesses around a number I'm actually going to be using those variables rather than saying 1 to 100. Okay so I'm going to just uh, change that to low as well and I'm going to change that to high. Okay so what we now need to do is work out if the computer uh, is guessing too high or too low. So I'm going to stick in a little if statement here. So if uh, CPU num is greater than the player num. So if the computer's guess is too high, then actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to say high is equal to the CPU num. Because I don't want it to guess higher than it's... If, if it's already guessed a high number, then I don't want it to pick a random number that could be higher. So if it's not too high, then I'm going to set low equals to CPU num. So if the number is too low, I'm going to set the, CP, the low to equal to that low guess. Then I'm going to pick some new random numbers. And that's it. Now when we run this code, we should see it be able to guess the number in, a f uh, in fewer guesses each time. So 50 this time, it took 10 guesses. Let's run it again. 50, 9 guesses. Do it again. 7 guesses this time. So hopefully you can see a pattern here. So 5 guesses this time. So this particular program, just by adjusting the high-low values, we can bring our efficiency of our program, well, we can make our program more efficient than it was. Um, in the next video, I'm going to explore how we can do this even in an even better way. At the moment, it's still picking a random number, but there is a way of making the computer guess in no more than seven guesses uh, with a number range of 1 to 100. Um, and I'll give you a quick hint. It's by guessing in the middle of the high and the low each time. And I'll show you how to do that in a moment.